Welcome to video number three, part three out of this topic, how to answer a technical question. In a way, this is gonna help you for you to get the job because it will help you for you to completely differentiate yourself from everyone else, the other candidates. And let me tell you, the way that you answer a technical question matters because that's one way on how you can position yourself in a way saying, hey, I have value to offer in a way that you can connect with them for them to remember you and not them, the other candidates. Now, if you haven't gone through video number one and video number two, obviously I'm gonna ask you for you to stop this video and for you to go through video number one and video number two first. If not, that's no point for you to go through video three or the last video, video four. For you to really be able to get the most out of the four videos, you need to go through them in order. That way you see exactly the techniques, the framework, and the way that you have to think, the way that you need to approach this process. So go back and go through video number one and video number two first, if you haven't done that by now. Now let's keep going through this framework, okay? And video number two, we talk about connect. The first thing, as soon as you open your, your mouth, you have to find a way for you to connect with the other person, the person that is asking you that question. And you know, there's a few ways on how to do that. And on video two, I walk you through on one way on how you can establish that connection. That's no connection, right? When you open your mouth and the job, on the interview, that means more likely no job, same as when you go on a date, right? That's no connection, there will be no chemistry, and then there will be no second date, okay? Second one, you educate, right? We talk about that too on video number two. And we talk about that you educate when. Now when you answer the question they ask you, because that's exactly what they are expecting from you, right? Answering that question. But that's, you educate and you position yourself as an expert when you do two things. One of them, when you talk about something that is very related to the question they ask you. And on top of that, the second one is related to the needs, wants, and desires based on the position and what they're looking for on a candidate or from a candidate, okay? Now let's go to number third, okay? The third thing that you have to do, and that's the stories. The only way for you to back up saying that you know that you have experience, that you have done, that you have done this, that you know probably the inside outs of something is in you telling stories. It's not enough saying so on um, someone asking you, so I mean, it seems here based on the CCNA or based on what is in your resume that you're really well, you know, on how to configure, you know, a few things related to switches, you know, port security, ether channel, spanning tree protocol, and VLAS. Am I right? Oh yes, I'm very good at it. You know, and I'm that type of person that, you know, if I put my mind into, I will get it done. You know, I've been working a lot on, on some of them before. So yes, I, I'm very confident in all of those areas. That's more likely what most people do. And obviously that's, you just didn't say anything about it, right? No, you go and tell the stories, okay? What does that mean, right? So going back on the question and the difference between a switch and a router. You answer the question by, uh, first by connecting, then educating. And at this point, I can, be, I can probably be when I get to that point. So yeah, that's the difference between the switch and a router. And let me tell you something that happened to me not too long ago, you know, with the switch, when I had this issue. So one of the users reached out to me and he was like, hey, you know, I'm unable to connect. And I'm like, okay, connect where? Well, I'm unable to connect to the network. Okay, it's just you or someone else or other users are having the same issue. Oh no, it seems it's only me. I ask other users and they're okay. I'm like, okay, well, let me kind of see what's going on. So as we both know, I basically went on and I, I asked, you know, let's go to your command prompt and see if you have a proper IP or if you have any IP for you to be able to connect to the network. Let's start there. And you see what I'm doing there? I'm telling a story and how I had an issue. Two, I'm still connecting with a person. You see what I did there? As, as we both know, you know, end up telling the user, you know, let's take a look at the command prompt. So let me do this. And then I go and I basically go on saying exactly what I ended up doing for me to troubleshoot the issue, that challenges that I probably went on facing and how I ended up resolving that issue based on a story, not based on me saying I'm the best, not me and saying I can get the job done. Those words never come out of my mouth, ever, when I go through the job interview process. Yes, I can get that job done. Yes, I'm the best. Yes, I will be all over on it until it's done. Yes, I will like, figure that out. Yeah. No, never. I teach my students the same thing. Don't do that because then you're like everyone else. 
If you want to say you're the best about something, tell a story. If you want to say that you know really well on how to troubleshoot a network connectivity issue, tell a story. If you want to say that you know really well VLANs based on this project, let's say, right, the things that I found out that they need the most because they're about to go on a project, I'm going to tell a story. Most people don't do that. One, because they don't know any better. And now that, that they know, like probably you, you may not know how to tell a story. And this is why, because you went on and learned the topics like everyone else does. You see, this is something that I've been saying for too long. There are six high paid skills that you have to learn in your IT career for you to be able to reach a high, very high paying job fast. And that's based on not just you just get certified, but based on, on six high paid skills that you have to learn, that you have to adapt, and some of them master. And one of them, number one, the process of learning how to learn. That helps a lot on how to process that information in a way that you can learn that information, be able to remember, recall, use it when you need it, and create a story out of it, okay? But that's how uh, you do it. You have to tell the stories. That's the third thing that you have to do when you answer a technical question, okay? Now, the last thing is you have to persuade that conversation to go your way. So how can you do that, right? So let's say, once again, let's say that I've been doing, the, uh, I've been connecting with the person, I was able to educate, so I basically went on and say a lot about the switches, the routers, the difference between both, and also on top of that, I went and I talked about, you know, uh, PLANs, because I know that's one thing that they really need, based on the, uh, from a candidate, because they're about to go on a, on a project, so they need to make sure that I want the, the person they hired, they know about PLANs really well, so I went on and said a few stories, probably two maybe about that, and then at this point, when I'm finishing telling my last story, then I go and I ask something related to that job and it's related to the conversation that we had at that point. So now that we're talking about bilance and this project, can you tell me more about it? Or I think too that there's another project that you're currently working on that's related to upgrading some of the switches that you have in some of the sites. That's what the recruiter or that's what the manager or that's what you told me the other day. Can you tell me more about that? And you see, because you already established that connection, you are having a conversation. And a conversation is not just someone talking. A conversation takes place when there are more than two people, right? Two people at least. So that's exactly what you're doing when you use this persuade. You're establishing that conversation by talking out something that it's very, very related to that job position. And based on how you went and preparing yourself, oh, these are the five things I need to make sure that I'm gonna talk about throughout that job interview process. Because our, our, these are the, the top five things that I know they need. Three of them were on the job description. And by the way, there were 20 plus. Um, but based on my research, the things that I end up doing, I know these are the top three things. And there were other two that I found out that were not on the job description because they never uploaded. That job description was probably from seven, 10 years ago, and that happens. And they are working on a few things now, they are not in the job description, so I ended up finding two. You see, by me just knowing that, how powerful I feel to, and, and, I can, and I go through the job interview process because now I know better, now I know exactly what I'm gonna say, based on exactly what they need, exactly what they want, and exactly what desire from me, a candidate. And that's how I go based on using that fourth one. You know, they probably ask me a second question, right? And I go the same way, I connect, I educate answering the question, uh, and I go and I say something related to, uh, based on what they need, and then I go and I can say, and by the way, can you tell me about this too, you know? I know too that you're working on, you know, with a vendor, you know, to bring this new technology, and these are the few things that I see that are happening in the market based on conversations that I had with uh, previous managers or uh, network engineers that I reached out to for the last few weeks, and it, it, it kind of like click, when I see this, that the recruiter mentioned that that's something you're working on when I see other companies doing the same. So you see, again, you are basically establishing a conversation going your way. That way you can position yourself that 30 minutes, that 45 minutes, that hour that you're gonna be on that face-to-face -face interview, you know, where they can say, wow, this guy, that's exactly what we're looking for. You see? Now, when you go on doing these four things, that's no reason on why you're not getting the job, okay? And I will tell you this. 
There are two things, okay, that had to happen for you to get a job. There are two. One of them, okay, they have to like you. If they don't like you, you don't get the job. And you probably think, well, that's common sense. Yes, probably common sense, but you don't do anything about it. They will help them to like you. Them, I didn't say for that person to like you. No, all of them. Okay, from the person who's reaching out to you all the way to the last person you can attack to. That can be three, that can be five total. For all of them, mention your name at the end of that conversation for them to be like, so who you like the best out of that 17 people we interview? Obviously, you want all of them to mention you. Okay, for them to call your name out. Now, that's like you because you can have the skills, you can have the experience, but if you cannot fit in their culture, guess what? They're going to say no. Okay? And again, that's based on these four things. If you don't do this, they're not going to like you. Even probably you have the skills and everything else. Okay? Two, they need to make sure that you can get the job done. They need to make sure that you can get the job done. And it's not enough on you having 20 years of experience in IT. It's not enough on you having a really great resume that got you there for you to talk to them. It's not enough because there are many people with the same things too. But what's going to differentiate that? The stories that establish you as the expert, as someone that has done it, as someone that knows, okay, by telling a stories. And by the way, that's a lot of it here. You know, I go very deep on the coaching on how to tell the stories because this is not just a one video, it's more than, it's a lot of lessons, you know, the psychology behind it, okay? So now you know better. There's two things for someone to hire you. They need to like you and they need to make sure that you can get the job done. And you do those two things by going through this framework. You have to connect, you have to educate, you have to tell the stories to back it up and then you have to persuade that conversation to go your way based on their needs, wants and desires. It's easy, right? But a lot of work, a lot of practice, okay? And if you are ready, let us know, right? And join Network Engineer Academy through the membership site or the coaching program. And even if you don't, you got a lot from the videos so far that will really help you if you do something with it, if you practice, you know, because the next thing that I will do, I will record myself and listen to me and be like, okay, let me see if I'm doing any of those things. Let me ask, you know, three basic questions, okay? And once I do that, because that's one thing that I'm going to ask you to do on video number four for you to do that exercise, you know? But I'm telling you that right now, you know, ask three basic questions, questions that you know. Very basic, nothing complicated, because it's not that you know the answer, it's how you answer that question, right? And then record yourself and listen and see if you end up doing any of the four. And if you didn't, or if you were like all over the place, you're just like everyone else. And more likely, you will not get the job. That's how it is. That's reality out there in the market, okay? So, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to comment on this video, I will talk to you on the last video, video number four. And I will, I'm gonna go through video number four, and how would I answer that question using these four, uh, th using these four things, a framework, okay? So, I will see you on, on video number four, take care, and talk to you soon.